Hello, let's discuss infinite discontinuity. What does infinite discontinuity mean? Okay, and what is it? Okay, let me give you an example first and sketch a graph to show you what infinite discontinuity could be, right? So, let me have a graph of like this. Can you tell me which functions the graph will be kind of like this? Think about it. This graph is could be of which type of function, right? f of x should be what in this case, or could be what, right? Well, this function clearly is discontinuous at x equals to 0, is positive on both sides, right? As you approach 0 from the negative side, we see that the limit of this function approaches infinity, right? It becomes increasingly positive. And this seems to be a vertical asymptote here at x equals to 0. Even when you approach it from the positive side, we see that the function is going to infinity, right? And this one was from the negative side, right? Negative side is 0 minus, right? So we say, what is the limit of the function? So we say limit of the function f of x as x approaches 0 from the negative side. So we say, well, it does not exist, right? It does not exist. We can write infinity here, approaching infinity, and that to positive infinity. So how about limit of function x as we approach from the positive side? So when you approach from the positive side, well, it also approaches infinity. So we say it does not exist, and it's equal kind of infinity. Infinite number is not really defined, so... So we don't reach a particular value, correct? Therefore, we say that the limit does not exist. This kind of limit or this kind of discontinuity is called infinite discontinuity, right? How do we define it? Well, let me take you one more example here. Uh, that what? Well, could you do? This function could represent, let's say, f of x equals to 1 over x squared. You may get a graph like this, right? Okay. Now, it is not necessary that for such infinite discontinuity we should approach infinity towards positive side or something like that. We could have a function like this, right? Where, like 1 over x, right? You remember 1 over x, right? Here you see it is approaching the different sides, correct? So say, when I approach from the negative side, I uh, leads towards path negative infinity, right? So it becomes negative infinity for this particular function. And let's call this function as g of x, for example, right? So in case of g of x also, we have an infinite discontinuity. So the function actually ap approaches infinity towards opposite ends, right? If we go from the negative side towards x, so we get to negative infinity. And when we approach zero from the positive side it leads to positive infinity so the limit doesn't exist and this kind of function uh, is discontinuous at x equals to zero and the type of discontinuity is called infinite discontinuity since the value of function is approaching uh, infinity right we could also have a condition uh, where we could draw some function like this that it approaches <coughs> some value like this, kind of like this, okay. Where this is our vertical asymptote, right? And after this place, it could be something like this, whatever, right? So, so here also we see it could be approaching negative infinity like that, right? So these are different kinds of functions which could be, which could have uh, infinite discontinuity. So they basically have a vertical asymptote at that point, you can see, and you're approaching uh, infinity undefined value as you approach the function from at least one side okay so we can define our infinite discontinuity as let me write it down the function f of x has an infinite discontinuity at x equals to, let me use a general term, a, okay, a, 
um, because this could be anywhere as I let this be point A okay at any point A if at least one of the one-sided limits so that means limit as x approaches a from positive side of f of x or limit of x approaches and or or a from the negative side of f of x right is infinity plus or minus why should I write infinity or minus infinity so that kind of covers what I'm trying to say that the function is has infinite discontinuity at a point a if at least one of the one-sided limits both could also be approaching infinity as we saw on all these examples but even if one is approaching correct even then the function is supposed to have an infinite discontinuity correct I hope you understand this and there are so many examples vertical asymptote is clearly an example where we have infinite discontinuity okay thank you